The 2023 Aston Martin DBS follows the same formula, but in true British fashion, it's far more dignified, with a stately appearance and high-class cabin. It also costs a king's ransom. Wealthy aristocrats lucky enough to afford one of these beauties will find the 715 horsepower V12 engine both refined and mega powerful, but the DBS isn't a focused sports car. Similarly pricey machines, such as the McLaren GT and since departed Ferrari 812 Superfast, are both more rewarding to drive, but the Aston is better than either of them at covering long distances with grace and repose. Model year 2023 is due to mark the end of the line for the current DBS coupe and convertible, and Aston is sending it out with a bang in the form of a limited production model called 770 Ultimate. The British brand intends to build just 499 of these machines, 300 of which will be in the coupe body style and 199 in the convertible, or Volante, 1. Every 770 Ultimate will have 759 horsepower on tap, likely from a retuned version of the twin-turbo 5.2-liter V12 engine that's in the standard DBS. The Aston Martin DBS has a starting price of $340,500 before any options are added. This price also excludes taxes, licensing, registration, a gas guzzler tax, and a destination charge upwards of dollar two eight k. It's undoubtedly expensive, especially considering that the Bentley Continental GT goes for one hundred thousand dollars less. Aston Martin DBS is powered by a mighty five point two liter twin turbocharged V twelve, making seven hundred fifteen horsepower and six hundred sixty three lbft of torque. Rear-wheel drive is standard, so the task of managing all that power via just two driven wheels makes the DBS both challenging and rewarding to drive. In a straight line, the 0 to 62 miles per hour dash takes only 3.4 seconds, but when the road gets twisty, you'll need to have your wits about you. The steering requires considerable muscle as it's quite heavy, and although the car can be accurately maneuvered, its weight means that you can't pull off the same tricks that you can in the Ferrari 812. Sport Plus mode sharpens everything up, and with the V12 never letting you forget that it's there, the car never fails to excite for better or worse. The adaptive damping suspension does a fine job of ironing out surface imperfections, so the DBS can easily be used on longer road trips. It isn't as cassetting as a Bentley Continental, but in our real-world review of the Aston Martin DBS, we didn't find it a jarring experience. At a starting MSRP of $340,500 before options, the 2023 Aston Martin DBS Coupe is in need of an update to remedy its old-school interior tech. A modern GT of this stature should also come with advanced driver assist technologies as standard. But despite these setbacks, the DBS is still an exceptional GT. The V12 engine is a dying breed, so its continued presence in the DBS feels like an occasion to be savored. The Aston Martin DBS's competitors include the Ferrari 812 Superfast and Bentley Continental GT Speed, and although the DBS isn't as athletic or quick as the Italian nor as refined as the Brit, its emotive qualities are up there with the best. Whether you're looking at it, sitting in it, or caning it, the Aston Martin DBS makes its pilot feel special. However, with a brace of impressive changes on the way, it may be a good idea to see what Aston Martin has in store for the 2024 DBS. The DBS is a grand touring sports car and as such comes standard with plenty of luxuries to make your trip comfortable. Leather-wrapped power-adjustable sports seats with heat and memory settings are standard. Several different trim options are available within the DBS's cabin, including open pour ash wood, carbon fiber, and satin finished chrome. We aren't sure how many carry on suitcases will fit inside the DBS's trunk because, unfortunately, we've not had one in our office for testing. But Aston Martin will sell you a four piece custom luggage set that's even color matched to the interior of your specific car. All DBS models come with an 8.0-inch infotainment display with navigation, as well as Bluetooth phone and audio streaming connectivity. 
The infotainment interface itself is a lightly reskined version of Mercedes-Benz Command software. A click wheel and touchpad on the center console allow the driver or passenger to navigate menus with relative ease. Overall, it's a fairly intuitive system. A 9-speaker stereo is standard, but buyers can upgrade to a Bang & Olufsen setup. As a boutique automaker, Aston Martin offers a unique warranty package that consists of a straight three-year protection policy that doesn't expire at a specific mileage. Buyers of the DBS will be stuck paying for their own dealer maintenance visits. However, as the brand offers no complimentary scheduled maintenance policy as standard, limited warranty covers three years with unlimited miles during that time period. Powertrain warranty covers three years with unlimited miles during that time period. No complimentary scheduled maintenance.